Hey, what's up? So I thought I'd do a quick uh, little vi video on my tractor. Um, this is a LS XG3025. So whenever I moved out here, uh, quickly realized that I was gonna need something kind of heavy duty to help me out with uh, some of the stuff um, and possibly planning for the future. So didn't know anything about tractors. I uh, initially gravitated towards your uh, John Deere, Kubotas, stuff like that. Um, at that time, uh, I didn't have any 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 horses or anything like that, that so I had to pay people to come out and try to brush hog. Um, first piece of equipment I bought was a uh, Kub Kubota, or not a Kubota, I'm sorry, a Husqvarna Zero Turn. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but that was pretty much good for um, my quote-unquote yard, which is about four acres that I have uh, fenced in around my house. So. Um, figured I would need something a little bit more he heavy duty along with a brush hog so, so I went shopping so once again I uh, not know anything about tractors I in immediately gr gravitated towards what I knew uh, John Deere Kubota um, decided that I was going that I was probably more in the market for a compact tractor um, a friend of mine uh, suggested I give a serious look at a brand called Coyote, um, which I was like, oh, cool, yeah. So I uh, went to go to the uh, dealership that sold both Coyote and LS. They uh, moved me more towards getting this LS here. So uh, at first I was kind of hesitant just because I don't know anything about tractors. I was kind of a, a name brand snob. But one thing that they told me that I didn't know at the time was that uh, tractors under your or compact tractors under 30 horsepower are all made overseas anyway uh, china japan korea uh not sure where ls is made at but um so you know i was pretty much comfortable with the fact that going with a, a compact that i'm going to be getting something that's made overseas anyway and the quality is probably going to be uh pretty similar um but if i wanted to go uh bigger than this then uh, i would probably end up uh, getting something uh, domestic so anyway um, this is my first tractor experience I didn't know anything about tractors uh, at all um, just kind of knew what all I wanted so this is a uh, very nice tractor I really don't have anything to compare it to because I've never really dealt with tractors before um, whenever I uh, purchased this I got a, a bundle package with the front end loader the uh, brush hog and that trailer over there. So um, overall, I've been pleased. Uh, I get out and I, I have to brush hog my pasture uh, two, three, maybe four times a summer whenever it grows. Uh, and also the front end loader comes handy with just other odds and end chores around here. Um, the brush hog has held up very well. Um, probably this spring, I'm gonna look to getting the blade sharpened or replaced because it's been two years. Um, and again, I use it maybe, you know, four times a year at the most. So maybe they're still good. Um, I finally was able to take my show on the road, so to speak. A buddy of mine needed his pasture brush hog. So I uh, tra trailered this, took it all the way up there, brush hogged it, got it back, no problems. Um, just some features about it that I really like again. I'm not a tractor guy. I don't know much about it. I'm just a regular city dude that's, uh, well, I'm not even really a city guy. I grew up in the burbs, so uh, that moved out in the country, and I'm trying to figure this out all on my own. So um, a couple of things I recommend that should go without saying, uh, get a four-wheel drive. Uh, if they even make any that are two-wheel drive, I don't know why, but yeah, you definitely want four-wheel drive. Uh, it's bailed me out a couple of times comes in different speeds low medium neutral high i usually keep it in medium for most uh most applications i do uh it has about a seven gallon fuel tank or so the gauge works for right now um back here you've got your three point uh with your pto um it's a little hard for me to set up i'm still trying to get this figured out and stuff like that you know just like anybody else that's new into this i'm having to watch youtube tutorials to do it i may do one in the future on how to uh set up my brush hog um but anyway uh once i got the hang of it not too bad um 
pretty easy to use. Um, I'm also right now in the market for a box blade that I'm going to get so that I can probably uh, do some more work on the road and stuff like that. So uh, if anybody has any recommendations on box blades, then please let me know. Uh, front end loader controls are up here. I have yet to take the front end loader off. Uh, it stays on 100% of the time. I've yet to take it off. Uh, matter of fact, I'll probably have to figure out how to do that whenever it comes to time. It does come with a, a quick release bucket to where if you got pallet forks or a hay spike or hay spear or whatever, you can throw it on there pretty easy, which I'm also in the market for that for moving around round bales and stuff like that. But um, aside from that, I may do another video on just uh, some other stuff, but it's pretty easy to, uh, pretty easy to use. Um, I also recommend uh, you get the hydrostatic transmission, which um, I guess for you non-farm people is just a uh, automatic transmission. They do make a uh, stick, a uh, I guess a stick drive, um, which is less expensive. But I mean, we're talking a couple hundred dollars. I mean, it's it's not enough for me to to justify getting a uh, manual transmission over the hydrostatic. The hydrostatic is is money so uh, also has cruise control down here um, parking brake over there uh, back here is your control for the uh, three point in the back pretty easy to set up um, and here's your throttle PTO switch uh, so pretty much that's you know that's that I saw another YouTube video where a guy that has this exact same tractor he mounted a, a toolbox with a, a cup holder up here and yeah, I definitely agree. Not having a cup holder kind of sucks. I mean, trying to, uh, especially during the summertime, it's hot out here. You may want a drink of water or beer or something like that while you're tractoring. Don't recommend drinking and tractoring, but, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, uh, I like it. Um, again, this is the LS3025. Um, the only issue that i really have with it it's just name recognition um from what i've also discovered this ls also makes new holland which you know at a glance the color blue looks like it's from new holland i mean it, it looks like a, a new holland from a distance but i think whichever new holland model is the same size these are pretty much the same the same tractor you know i.e the uh Mercury, Villager, Nissan Quest, freaking Mitsubishi Eclipse, and whatever else. Oh, anyway, hope that hope that helps out. Um, again, I like it. Um, in terms of budget and stuff like that, you know, it's pretty affordable depending on how you do it. Um, I got it. Uh, actually, I'm not going to say how much I got it for. I kind of forgot right now. But again, I got the bundle package: tractor, front end loader, brush hog, and trailer was all included in one price. Um, if you have your farm tax, that definitely helps out. So make sure you have that. And the trailer, I've only used it once and that's when I uh, hauled it up to my to my bro's place a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. So um, about the only other thing I would have probably gotten bundled in was probably one more implement, um, either a box blade or a box scrape or something or pallet forks or something. Um, brush hog is, is is cool but right now i'm pretty one dimensional as far as what what i can do so uh box blade is definitely next on the agenda pallet forks are next on the agenda and all that so um pretty good no issues there was some uh i don't know if it was recall or warranty work but the dealership actually came out and picked it up uh, hauled it off fixed it then brought it back and set it back right here i mean that they probably had a two or three day turnaround the longest part of it was trying to get get our schedules uh matched up to uh have them come out and do it but that's the only issue that i know of uh there was some recall work with i guess like the oil seals or something like that i forget but they went and took care of it for me um and all that good stuff i've got about 30 hours on it um it's probably due for some servicing i have the manual inside so i don't think i'm really due for much of anything until it hits 50 miles but again no problems uh next video i do i'll probably go under the hood show you all what's under there but yeah for me 
as a starter tractor this is perfect uh, it's perfect for the size property i got i've got 10 acres out here um six of which is pasture four of which is like my yard that i can hit with my uh regular riding mower um and all that stuff so anyway um hope you all enjoy like comment subscribe share uh i'll talk to y'all later